0809-5254-0254-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0249-0
in as much as they didn't mm -hmm. uh, they didn't really have systems and uh, sophistication in technology but that's how they started logistics for any youth who will want to start a business in logistics and doesn't have capital i believe capital is not going to be a big issue if you're really interested you can begin by being an errand person for people in town okay. and you will have already begun a logistics company because people will be sending you to pick things for them from one point to another you will already be a player and within you never know within time once you have your had your, your referrals you go and register a company from there mm -hmm. you will you will move okay yes and then what would you say is uh, it, what does it take to run a successful logistic company number one is honesty with the customers okay that is very integral because customers from uh, if you look the, the, logis the, the logistics in that is big even uber is in logistics uh, customers want the highest level of honesty from the service provider so honesty will be number one and uh, also efficiency okay. because people are looking at timing somebody will give you a shipment and it tells you i need this shipment from here to dubai within one day if you de if you deliver it in 30 days that customer is never is never going to come back no way yes so yes. efficiency honesty and also as a business person you need to look at your finance finances you cannot be getting profit and squandering it all around mm -hmm. you need to invest Best in advanced technology because technology is is improving and it's helping our business grow okay perfect so what's your policy in the company when it comes to a situation whereby i uh, my my inventory is damaged or lost what's the policy looking like every shipment we normally charge there's a fee it's it's a, it's a hidden fee you never realize it when we quote we just quote as freight but we have insurance so you will realize that whenever you are shipping any product we'll ask you for the commercial invoice the reason we ask for this commercial invoice is that in any case of a damage or a loss you will be compensated based on the value that you declared on the on the commercial invoice ah, yes. okay fair enough <laughs> that's fair enough so what happens if the delivery co commitment is not met as you understand that everything uh, we plan, mm -hmm. we may plan as human beings, yes. but sometimes what we call the unavoidable circumstances. Like I'll give you uh, uh, a sad scenario. Like you remember when we had the air crash in uh, Ethiopia? You, you, there are shipments that were in that, in, in that aircraft. And so definitely they never got to the point of where they, where they were going to. Or we may have uh, delays. Whenever there's a delay, we apologize to the client and we let the client know why there was a delay. And we try to give assurance that we are going to do it at the earliest time possible. Well, apart from those uh, unpredictable uh, situations where uh, such situation happens, what are a couple of measures that the company can take if someone wants to get into this business or from, they can learn from you uh, that can make sure that there's security for cargo? Uh, our items, we, we have something called the, the tracking number. Okay. The tracking number is basically what you use to log into our system to check where, the, your, your, where your item is. This gives the client uh, the ample time not to, not to worry where the shipment is. You are able to track as the shipment leaves from origin to destination. So security for the shipments are, is always guaranteed. Right. For any customer, even right now, if you have a shipment you are exporting or importing, your security is guaranteed, your shipments will arrive at an affordable price. Okay. And speaking about tracking, when it comes to business, apart from just financial aspect of it, uh, take us through how you track your performance, the performance of your business. We have, uh, we have goals that we set. We look at, uh, that is, we look at what we need to achieve in, we have weekly goals, monthly goals, and even yearly goals. We set them, and uh, we always try that every person in, in, in the company, you strive to live in that company as if it was your last day in the company. Mm -hmm. A couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way. Uh, management of money is not easy. Mm -hmm. That is one thing I've always understood. Mm -hmm. And uh, capital is is very integral in a, for you to grow you need capital but uh, 
for, for ways of raising capital in Kenya, most of the people think about debt. I realize that uh, debt is very hard when you are starting because if you walk into a bank and you have not been having a very healthy uh, transaction record, banks will not give you will not give you a loan. Mm -hmm. So for us, we, we, we chose other we chose other avenues of raising capital. That's why we have things like partnerships. When we have partnerships and people are able to give us credit, if one if one partner gives us a credit of a million shillings and we have ten. So remember now we have a capital base of 10 million without even having to borrow debt from people. So what we do is honestly, as I said, if we take a credit from one company and the moment a customer pays, we ensure that we first begin with paying our debts first before we can take the profits. Right. Would you say that the, the logistic uh, business is profitable? Yes, it is. That is why we have multinationals here in Kenya. All oh, right. And how are, how are the returns uh, since operation? The returns? Yes. The returns are okay. Mm -hmm. uh, business, as I told you, is about if you are giving a solution to the problems that people have in the society, and then you are going to have customers. Mm -hmm. But now, getting a customer is different from retain, retaining a customer. So as, you, as a business person, you always have to try to retain the customer because acquisition is not hard, mm -hmm. but retaining is the problem. All right. I think I would like you to share insight on uh, the effect of the standard gauge railway and how technology is shaping the transport and the logistic industry. The SGR project, I feel this is one of the best projects that came uh, to Kenya in the last 10 years. Uh, definitely, human beings do not love when there is change. When we had Uber coming in, mm -hmm. the online taxi, the old taxi people complained. When we had SGR coming, we had the truck owners who really complained. And people said that uh, the SGR is going to kill Mombasa as a coast. But according to me, I look at it at, at, the bigger, at the bigger angle in this way. That once SGR is complete, the logistics industry as a whole coming from, we have the, the East Africa region and even the side of Congo and South Sudan and Ethiopia. This SGR is going to enable us bring the containers easily from Mombasa to Kisumu. Then from there, the truck owners can still move to Sudan. Mm. So it's going to widen the scope of doing business. Right. And uh, looking at, uh, I don't want to give you a particular time frame, what is the vision looking like for your company? Uh, we are looking at, uh, right now, we started, as I told you, I started this company with less than 50,000 Kenya shillings. And uh, I think so far we have, we, have, we have taken bigger milestones. In the next 10 years, we are looking at uh, an annual revenue of at least $1 million. Okay. That is 100, 100 million, million in the yes. next 10 years. Mm -hmm. as, 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 as the founder and the CEO, mm -hmm. I look at, uh, by the time it, the company gets to 20 years, I want to get out of the company and leave it for, for a board. And maybe in the next 20 or 30 years, we will be looking at going public. Mm, okay. That is our end goal. We oh. want to go public because if you go public, you're going to raise enough capital that can now the company can be able to compete big multinationals like DHL, FedEx, UPS. Because I believe that uh, Africa needs to produce companies that that are going to create bigger jobs mm -hmm. for its economy. All right. Yes. So, Roy, you're also a student. Uh, you're a low, low student. Yes. How are you balancing uh, business and being in the class? Balancing business and class is not hard because I wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. I go to work, uh, I, I first look at my emails, then from there I go to meetings. Mm -hmm. From 4 p.m. I go to school. All right. Yes. What would be your advice for someone who wants to get in this uh, sort of business? As you wind up, start from where you are. Okay. Begin with what, begin with what you feel you have. That's because if you look at always looking, oh, will I get ten million to start this business? You are never going to get it, and nobody is ever going to bring it to you. Uh, begin with from where you are, mm -hmm. because there's something that is currently cropping up, and it's it's a uh, it's a change in how logistics is being done. There are people who currently are hiring small spaces in town per month 
So these people, they are interrupting how warehousing has been done. Somebody gets a small space in town for 2,500. So for the online sellers, somebody can be living in Kisumu and sells in Nairobi. So he, keeps, he or she keeps her products in the shelf for 2,500, can sell online without necessarily looking for a warehouse. Mm -hmm. You see how this is now interrupting the logistics. So these people have invented something new. Mm. Start from where you are. With what you have. Yes. Think, think about something that can, can go within your budget. Okay. So how can people find you on social media? Uh, okay. And how can they reach out to you in any, in any platform? On Facebook, we are at Science Logistics, Twitter Science Logistics. And then our email address is info at scienlogistics.com. Our website is www.scienlogistics.com. Cyan is C-I-E-N. Okay, yes. thank you for uh, pointing, out, pointing that out. So yes. thank you very much, Roy Opumba, for creating time to be with us. So that is uh, Roy Opumba, founder of CN Logistics. We are looking at transport and logistic industry. I hope you've learned one or two, three, three things when it comes to this particular business. So we have much more coming your way right here on Y in the morning. If it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 channel. Is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my socials. So make sure you stay tuned. We have so much coming your way. We'll be right back. <laughs>